It's scary that every fifth or sixth mailbox in this country has a memory impaired person behind it. And it's wonderful to be a part of memory care assisted living where they can uh, enjoy living life after diagnosis. With different dementias, and there's over a hundred of them, different personalities all shine through combined with who they were prior to the disease process. We're not in the business of changing who they always were. My aunt was really passionate about children. She worked at a children's hospital and she was in charge of all the programs in regards to children. And I find that Epic does a really good job of tying in, um, bringing children to various activities. And she just lights up when she sees any, any kids. I am so proud of our Bridges by Epic communities. Um, it's something that we do that makes me feel great about what we do as a company. We wanted to create dedicated buildings that focus on memory care. and They do memory care and nothing else. We took 25 years of long-term care experience and developed a product called Bridges that takes all the good and all that knowledge and makes it the perfect home for the memory impaired. For example, we have virtually no hallways in our building. We have a central core in each household or neighborhood and people coming out of their apartments immediately come out into the central core. They see the activities that go on. And you have programming that is unlike any other property. I would say that that is Bridges. Bridges is about ensuring that they can still have joy and enrichment. I really do think we accomplished our goal, which was to offer the very best dedicated memory care assisted living that is available anywhere. Bridges is a special place. And what it has meant to my mom is that she's engaged, happy, she's part of a community, she's cared for by a very loving and professional staff, and her family has the peace of mind that we haven't had for a long time knowing that she's in an environment that is so caring and loving. The idea around the bus stop came from this community. Here on the South Shore, there are a great number of people that are familiar with public transit. With such a straight face, she just, Alicia said, why don't we make a bus stop? It sounds so simple, and if it's going to alleviate some of those challenges, why go the medication route? Instantly, you could see residents drawn to that area of the courtyard. For some people, it's an opportunity to reminisce, to sit there and talk about late trains or long distance train rides. However, when you look out the window from the dining room to the courtyard and you see a bus stop, it's empowering because it tells a memory impaired person you can leave whenever you want allowing them still the opportunity to engage with their community I find is key to their empowerment. Keeping memory impaired people engaged is therapeutic and if they're busier during the day and happier people they need less. You know we're not in the position to diagnose which one of the 100 plus types of dementia there are but we could definitely give new direction into what to try and how to approach it when it comes to the, what we train the staff on. It's constantly changing because the population changes and we need to keep changing with them. I focus only on the moment and I know that magic comes in moments. To sit at a bus stop and not have there be a bus there is normal. Going to a movie, it's normal. We don't just drive by the beach, we go in the water and we swim. It's all about your programming. It's all about your life enrichment. If your life enrichment is rock and roll, your residents are going to take less medications. There's no choice around it. If people could just remember that they're people and that they're still emotional, they would make magic.